Now from the home of the Rays, Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Tonight, it's an AL Eastern Division matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. J.D. Martinez looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Tyler Glasnow will be the starter for the Rays in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Static second, the center fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Four hits already in the series through seven at bats. First offering. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's got to hurry. Throw will be in time, and it's a very quick beginning to the evening as there are two gone now. To the plate now is David Ortiz. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise. And it goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Here's J.D. Martinez. Yes, he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. While his hitting streak might be drawing most of the attention, some might not realize he's hitting for real power as well, slugging over 500 for the season. And that's the beauty of it, Matty. He's doing it with damage. It's not the one for four with the ground ball with eyes or the bleeder with no one on that doesn't help the team. This is a guy that's done serious damage from day one in this hit streak, and it's continued. That is it. The third baseman, Rafael. Here now is Rafael Devers. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Wendell makes the catch to end the inning. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home. Pedro Martinez, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Martinez has finished off more than 2,900 innings during his time in the major leagues. And in that time, he's allowed just barely over a base runner per inning, which of course is very good. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Joey Wendell is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get that this hot. This team is no rocking in all oh, facets man. right now, and they're a fun Meadow. watch. Austin Meadows is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And it's quickly 0 2. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Throw the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Striding in for Boston, Xander Bogarts comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. Boy, and also right up among the leaders 
in home runs and RBIs. This guy's having an epic season. And he has an outside shot to win the Triple Crown. Under it to make the catch is Wendell. One away. Batting seven. The designated hitter. That will bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. In his seven at-bats in the series, he's picked up five hits, so he's really been locked in. Swing and a shot toward right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Dan after that base hit he's extended his hit streak to nine games and you know he wants double. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen anybody can get a nine game hitting streak but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say hey I'm about to double digits. And hold on there that's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Red Sox on top in the early going one nothing as we play the second. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Center fielder looking up. Gone! Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Kike Hernandez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Fastball hit on the ground to short. Adamas picks it up, and there are two away now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie Betts, he popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Matty. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Line towards center field. A Rosarena will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. No balls and a strike to count. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. What a well executed fastball right there down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And he'll step oh. on first himself for the out. That is good. Look first that pitch of the A.B. on its way. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. One delivery. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this. He throws him on the fastball there. Randy Rosarena becomes out number two this inning. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He 
Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. So now here is David Ortiz as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Well Matt this is one of the problems this guy's a good fastball particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. This guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball Two back to back. Wendell is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. No one on with one down and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. First pitch on its way. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas is short and quickly there are two away. Rafael Devers the next to bat hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Here it comes. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one two three get back in the dugout regroup he struggled early but if he can knock out this and the second baseman is there to make the play and that ends the inning. G man Choi the next to hit seven eight and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys six up six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well the home crowd seems a little restless so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And this is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning. Now the first pitch the third baseman hit the other way out toward right field that's on the run he gets there and that's the second out the catcher. ready to deliver here comes the first pitch Francisco Mejia stands in as he swings and misses for strike one well he kind of tipped his hand right there his approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater fouled off A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Down. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Into the box now. Bobby Dalbeck hit in the air out to center field. A Rosarena is there and he has it for the out. up for the Red Sox Christian Vasquez and remember he hit that two run homer his first time up liner in there for the base hit just an absolute laser that time screaming off the bat if you will and show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour those are the line drives you can hear as they go by now both runners are breaking in there now the throw not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. Hey, if you want to steal third off a catcher that has a good arm like this guy, you have to make sure you get a great jump. And he did just that, and it's safely into third. A Rosarena is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And boy, not quite sure why, but they decide not to risk it with two outs on a very deep fly ball. Really surprising. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. The run scores from second. Now a 5 nothing lead. The center fielder, number 99. Now the Rays manager is going to take that slow walk out toward the mound. 
And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's not easy to do, to steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this. Great base running there. And the Sox keep pouring it on. This is extra bases as well. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 6-0 ball game. So now to the plate, David Ortiz, as he rips it on the ground to second. He'll whip this one first in time, and that ends the inning. Joey Wendell digs in now. Dero down six already in the early part of this ball game. What's the mentality for them as they try to work their way back? You know what, Matty? This is where you take some pride for ABs. I've been down six before, and I've come back from even further down than that in some big ball games. You have to find a way to just relax and start piecing some good ABs back to back. Yandy Diaz stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Fouled away. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, and it. it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Hey, I noticed pitcher's getting ahead right here. He's got the hitter down 0-2, but to this guy in the box, might want to just live on the corners a little bit more. You keep missing down the middle. Something's not coming back. And he will make the catch here just in front of the first row, and that will. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. So his day is fully over as you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Well, you could see right from the get-go that he didn't bring his A game. Had a very difficult time getting through the lineup, and as a matter of fact, wasn't able to even get out of the fourth inning. So the bullpen's going to have to do a really big job of finishing out the rest of this game. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Just classic confidence in the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. One there. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Right now is the designated hitter, Bobby Dalbeck. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Now here's the first offering. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Bogarts, the runner at first with two gone. Eight, a high fastball two. is in there. Oh, they love the count. confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Hit to short. Adama scoops it up, throw to second yeah, for the force out, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Left side, but well fouled. Here comes the 0-1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Scooped up. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now that First pitch of the A.B. now. Randy Rosarena is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heater. 
Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's no really impressive to me he hasn't walked Shut anyone up. either. He's just really? pounding the zone. Not His coming. stuff is dirty today. The wind up and the 0 1. And he takes strike two. Man, he's Grant in control of all into. his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the Rays are in the hit column. I know this pitcher's trying to keep his pitch count down, but that's ridiculous right there. Pitch right down the middle. He's lucky he's getting this ball back. Stepping in now, G-Man Choi. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One left for Tampa. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Christian Vasquez. The first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Choi is under it, one away. Up next, Kike Hernandez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Hit high and deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now into the box, Mookie Betts, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. First delivery to him. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead it six zip. Also digging in at the plate. We'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. So it was a strikeout swinging. Michael Basso is retired Catcher. leading off the bottom of the sixth. Francisco Mejia will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Behind 0-2 now. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. No left field. Pulled toward right center field. Verdugo waits on it. And that will end the inning. Rays go in order. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Alex Verdugo. And this will be fouled away. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Under it to make the catch is Wendell. One away. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Next will be the cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Gets a small piece near the plate, but it gets fouled. Hit on the ground out to short. 
And that finds its way through for a base hit. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. At the plate, Rafael Devers. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in on the second for the force out, and the side is retired. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And there's one away. So the next to bat will be Austin Meadows. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Strike one to start the at bat. Fouled off. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until number there's a reason to start mixing Second it up. Baseman. He hasn't needed many right of his there. secondary pitches so far on this one. And there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Meadows has it, and there's one away. And now here is Bobby Dahlbeck. He's working on a one for three thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Now it'll be Christian Vasquez. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. 0 1 the count. Six runs, double the amount of hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Barehanded at his knees. Just late. He's safe. If that was anybody else running down the line, he'd have had him. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. Get high and deep out to left center field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track. Is that Here's Randy Arozarena. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. First pitch on the way. Willie Adamas is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Popped him up. And there's out number two. Now that first base infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases so far. He couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. And Mookie will make the play in that retired. New inning set to get underway. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. 
And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. The Colin McHugh comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Wow, when you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's Meanwhile, here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Just an absolute laser that time, screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Oh, forget about this one. Bob, Bob, Bowie. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a two run homer down the line in right field is second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that gets through a base hit. He's three for five. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road no splits? I think every player is and sometimes it's a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks and some guys quite frankly like it better on the road than they do at home. At the plate now Rafael Devers to right field and deep look at this thing go. A two run blast to straight away right field so a milestone here and even 50 home runs on the year now as they just continue to pour it on here. Chaz Rowe comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. And that brings in Xander Bogart. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back Jacks. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty D, how about this, D. Rowe? If you come to watch offense, you pick the right. Oh, could it be three in a row? Back on it is the left fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping up is Christian Vasquez. <laughs> Lifetime in this matchup. He's 0 for 4. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And it's gone as they add still another. They say hitting's contagious. Well, there's You're a fight at the clear. bat rack right now. now Four homers in the same inning. Number Something has to change. This offense is on fire. Standing in now, Kike Hernandez. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Wendell's back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Hit hard up the middle. Adamas brings it in, and he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time. 
All set for the bottom of the ninth. And, and that'll bring up Mike Grosso. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot, but you have to have one quality at bat followed by another quality at bat. Don't give any outs away. No ABs go unnoticed right here. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Lifted the other way to left center, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? 13 nothing the convincing final score Boston scored a lucky 13 in this one Pedro Martin